Welcome back everyone, I'm Lord Ridiculous and today I'm doing a strange video but hopefully it'll be helpful. One of my subscribers, Hugh McCallum, asked me to help him with OBS issues and how to get started on OBS because his son, who's only 10 years of age, is starting up a YouTube channel and he's been playing Minecraft and things like that and he's had a few issues in setup. He also had the black screen um, recordings which I've had many times so I wanted to do a quick video just to show him how to set it up and I said I'll put it up on the channel in case anyone else finds it useful. Okay, so to start. This is OBS, but this is the one I'm recording off of, so I'll show you one from a new build. Okay, so OBS. So effectively the first thing you want to do when recording is to check that your, you know, your playback and your recording um, devices are set up correctly. So right click on your icon for sound, right click, and first of all go to playback devices. Make sure if you're using a headset um, that this is your, you know, device of choice. If not, if you're using speakers, then one of the other ones, you should say speakers, will be your device of choice. Press that, press set default, boom, there you go. Same with recording. I use a separate mic, a standalone mic, which is this, but Hugh or whoever, if you're using a microphone on your Corsair gaming headset or a headset of a different make, click that, press set default, and then okay. One last thing to show you guys is in the mixer, which is here. If we click on the mixer, this will show you um, the two sources you have open. So the mic and the desktop audio. Now, you can either pan these, so put you know the sound going from right to left, all that kind of stuff if you want to down mix it, all that kind of cool stuff. One thing I use this for is the tracks. So if you wanted the mic to be on one separate track to the desktop audio, you would press two. Um, sorry, one and two, two separate. Or you could have two and one, I guess, once they're separate, fine. This will make the audio be recorded on two separate tracks. So when you put it into, say, a, um, you know, like this Sony Vegas Pro, you'll see there's be one track here for the, um, for the audio on the video, and then you have your mic separate, which is useful for, you know, increasing or decreasing the volumes. Whereas if you are like Hugh's son and you're just basically recording straight to put up to YouTube, so straight to like VLC or whatever, so you don't edit it, you'll keep them both on the same track. And then that will do that for you. Once you have that done, we'll start setting up your sources in, um, in OBS. So first things first, um, right click in your sources, add. If you want to play games and capture the footage that's on the screen, press game capture. Press OK. Make source visible should be already ticked. Fine. Um, so for the time being, leave it at capture any full screen application. For the time being, leave that done. Happy days. You now have capture on. Just to show you it works, I will pick a game at random. Uh, pick one, everyone. Scream. Scream if you want to go faster. Um, I shall pick Overwatch. Probably the worst game I could have picked because this uses battle.net. Anyway, what this will do is when it when the game becomes uh, large enough to take over the full screen, OBS will pick up the actual game. So I'll wait till I see something here. Okay, now so we have the Overwatch game running. If we go back to OBS. You'll see in your screen the previous screen Overwatch is there. That's game capture. Perfect. Happy days. Okay, that's working. I'm happy with that. Okay, now that we know that that's working. Um, go to settings. So I'll show you my settings. We'll go through it one by one. Um, general, you should be your settings. I don't think I touched anything here really. Maybe wanted something down here. Just copy them anyway. These seem to work quite well. I don't stream, so I don't use this. Output isn't the important one. You don't stream by the sounds of it, but if you do, um, there's plenty of videos out there that will help you with the streaming part. I don't stream, so I'm not using that. I'm using recording and the audio. So when recording, I use standard. Happy days. Recording format MP4, which is you know pretty straightforward recording format. I don't use FLV or any that kind of stuff. MP4. Um, if you want to have two tracks, AKA one for your voice and one for the game, I'd advise using two tracks. Encoder, you could use X264, which is the default, but NVIDIA, which is the card I use, has this one in particular. I don't see any issue with that, but I get better quality on this, and I pay, pay good books, good money for um, you know, for this card, so I'm going to use that. Um, 1920 is my native resolution. Rate control down here, then. 
it's, I think it's defaulted to CBR, use CQP. You get almost lossless quality with CQP. You can set it anything you want here. Um, I'm not going to go in the ins and outs of what this stands for. I find that anything in 5s, like 5, 10, 15 is usually pretty good. 18 is the best I've had with my setup. Put in 18, see what the recording looks like at the end of it. If it's good enough, then you go. Um, then you go and use that. If not, you know, maybe test it out a bit. You put 15 in. Go look. The lower you go, the worse it gets. So, level, auto, all this kind of stuff I think is okay. Use two-pass encoding. Um, that's pretty standard, I think. So yeah, these are the settings I use. If you can't find this, by the way, I may have not shown that. Um, this may be defaulted in output to simple. Go to advanced, up here at the top, and then voila, you have these tabs. Audio, this 160, I'm not sure if that was, again, default, but I get decent audio out of um, OBS using those. So, what I use, into the audio tab. Okay, 44.1 kilohertz is good always stereo you don't want mono or else you'd be sounding very very uh, no sounds okay so this is kind it looks complicated but it's not really so de desktop audio device so this is where the sound comes out of i have it set to my speakers aka my headset and um, it's my headset speakers you can keep it on default once down here you have selected the correct um default playback device default should work if you can see your, you know, your, your headset here, happy days, pick it. Everything else should remain disabled except for the mic. So that if the mic again is part of your headset, you select that. If not, like me, you have a separate one, you select this. But you could leave it at default again once down here is correct. I have mine set just to be doubly sure. If I, for whatever reason, for, well, there is a reason. If, say, I was playing with friends and they had TeamSpeak or Skype or whatever and I wanted to have them on a separate volume gauge to this i would you know basically put here default or if i had like speakers or whatever if i wanted a different option here and then once i press the plier okay it would add a new um volume control to the mixer it's down to zero and there's nothing you know there's no sound at the moment so which is because i have no friends yeah okay i have no friends you okay um <laughs> but to get rid of that you just go back to the where you were so say audio device 2 and disable and then that goes away once you press apply okay whoops i think that was audio everything else should be okay video make sure that you're at your native resolution for your speak or for your monitor mine's 1920 by 1080p i think that's pretty standard 1080p for most um, monitors at the moment um downscaling filter I'm not sure what this is at at default. Lanksos, it sharpens it up. It is pretty much the go-to downscale filter that I think I've watched a lot of guys who do these videos and they all go with this. I would recommend it. It's pretty sharp. Like I'm telling you, this lossless quality that comes out of this. Disable the arrow, Windows arrow, that just makes messes things up. And also you want 60 frames per second. Don't play any games that won't give you 60 frames per second is my motto, so I'm not gonna record games. Um, that don't do that and I also don't want my viewers to watch anything that's less than 60. Um, hotkeys, so I always press start recording. You can set it to a hotkey, I, you know, if you press F9 for instance, I have it set to, it will record automatically. Um, so you can put in whatever you want there, you can put in 5, you can put in something that you don't use because if you put, if you use it, um, you know, you'll press it by accident and you'll be recording stuff accidentally. Um, revert that's what I was looking for hey now one thing I will say to anyone who's new to recording when you record something it will take up a lot of space yeah so if I go into general or I was in general right? recording recording yes here this is my recording path I didn't actually mention this which is stupid recording path is where your videos will end up when you, are, you finish recording so when you press start it starts to record when you press stop which this button will turn to once you click it um, it stops recording. So if I go in to my one, which is in here, videos, you'll see that for where is it, 20 minutes, it's nine gigabytes, yeah? And that's because the quality that I've set is quite high. So I have a PC dedicated, and I drive on my PC dedicated just to recording stuff. Um, so that's pretty much why, because you can see that's nine gigs, that's a lot for 20 minutes. 
I played for an hour with someone this morning. 17 gigs, 17, 18 gigs. So it's it takes a lot, yeah? So just be mindful of that. Okay. Um, back to here. So that's that. Um, advanced then. Just copy my settings, nothing here really. That's important. Okay, apply. Fine. So then, if I start recording, I'll start recording. Now we're, we're recording. If I go back into my thing here, um, you will see that this is what's recording now, and this is increasing. You know, we are actually currently videoing, and this is increasing. You cannot go in and look at this. This is VLC, by the way. You probably have Windows Media Player or whatever. You cannot look at this video until I'm finished recording. This is something which brings us to our next point. Um, our next point is, if you watch my voice here, um, it is to a certain level. Yeah, this is my voice. Whereas the game, when we put it on, which we'll put it on again, you'll see that it is quite loud. So here we are, back in Overwatch. I am playing as Soldier 76 to show you my final tip, which is in relation to the levels, the volume levels. You should always have your volume level in game a little bit lower than your mic um, certain games have different levels so for instance overwatch would have a different level to minecraft or, or vice versa or whatever like so if you have a setting that you like you can keep it by going to your mixer from page here now watch this look how loud this is going to get <laughs> that was the normal overwatch in-game volume level i turn it down on OBS so the recording will now have the level I set so it's underneath my mic level you can always hear me over the game but yeah you can still hear the game in the background and this is quite handy when it comes to um, doing gameplay streaming etc and depending also on whether or not you have an extra you know input here for you know, friends, if you're doing street, uh, collaborations, etc., it's quite useful. Back to Hugh and his issue. Okay, so th basically, that's all well and good, game capture, all that's good, until you get to games like FIFA for me or Minecraft. He said that he's having an issue. Okay, I think it's due to the fact that they have loaders like this, and um, sometimes they don't, um, it's not registering with OBS that it's a full game. So if I load up this game, Single player, Lord's World, la 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 la. I downloaded this just for you. I hope he's appreciative of that. <laughs> Jokes. Okay, so load it up. So that's the game. So if I make this full screen, da, 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 video settings, fancy full screen on. So I'm in full screen. Okay. If I go back to OBS, it's still showing nothing. So if I press record, that would give me nothing. So here's the trick, guys. This is the trick to defeat the black screen or whatever of recording. Simple one, right click, properties. We have it in mode capture any full screen application. This is default. If you go to capture specific window, and then in the window, you click on the game you have open. So my, uh, Minecraft 1.9, when you press okay, you can see it's recording Minecraft when I come back out of it. So what I've done again is I've gone right click, Properties, Window, Selected Minecraft. There's other games there as well. Um, if you've other games open, they will be there, sorry. Um, I don't have currently, but like that. always look out for it. If you have two things, because that's what happened with FIFA. FIFA, I had selected on the window, basically that, that loaded it, not the actual game itself. Always look for .exe. That's the executable, that's the game. Click on that, press OK. Boom, and that works for me. And... There's not much sound in this game, so I'd move that back up. I'll start recording and I'll record a bit of Minecraft just to show you that this works. So back to game. Oh, I've played Minecraft in years. So, so, so relaxing. Get back into Minecraft, actually. So this is Lord playing Minecraft. How are you all doing? I hope Hugh's son will become a great YouTuber, and if he is, he should subscribe to Lord Ridiculous and I'll take care of him. I'll look after him with, um, with any tips he has, or tips he needs, not tips he has. If he has any tips, actually, probably learn this stuff quicker than I would. Um, because I've learned all this by trying.
trial and error over the years. Okay, anyway, that's Minecraft. I'll stop yabbing on. Um, if I come out of that, save and quit the title, quit game, stop recording. For the last time, I will go back in. We have it here, Minecraft. Start recording and I'll record a bit of Minecraft to okay, just man. to show you that this works. So, so, so relaxing. Get back into There's Minecraft. My voice games. over the actual game. So this Again, is Lord playing Minecraft. How if you, you wanted doing? to, you could reduce the voice. Son will become a great YouTuber, and if he is, you should so subscribe. So that's to that. And that's how to effectively uh, set up OBS. That's also how to um, pretty much solve the black screen recording, and that should get you on your way. If any, you want any more tips, guys, on how to upload to YouTube, for instance, and how to use Sony Vegas, anything like that, and how to edit, let me know. Hit the like button if this helped you. If it didn't, hit the dislike button. Leave me a comment either way, and I will uh, try to get back to you as best I can. I've been Lord Ridiculous. You've been awesome. Until next time, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.